In this video, we are going to cover how to integrate custom MCP server with Google ADK framework. So let's quickly jump into the code. So you could see like I have created one folder over here, which is going to be called custom MCP. Under this, we have to follow the same pattern what we have explored earlier. So we are going to have .env file. In this .env file, we are going to have this use vertex AI as false because we are not using Google vertex AI. We are just relying on Google Gemini model. And then this is the key which we have provisioned in our first video and then like we are passing that key over here then we are going to have our agent.py file where we are going to put our main code and then you could see we have created one additional file over here which we are going to call server.py and in this server.py file we are going to put our custom mcp server code so if you are new to mcp then first thing what we have to do is install certain dependency to work with uh, mcp server so as for the documentation first thing what we have to do is install this kind of dependency pip install mcp CLI. So this you can take it and just directly run it in your terminal. It will install the dependency which is required to work with MCP. And once this particular dependency has been installed, then we can go ahead and write our code. We are going to write very simple custom servers. So we can start with from MCP and then we are going to have server. Then we are going to call fast MCP and then we just have to import this fast MCP. Now we are also going to import request because we are going to write a method to get the weather information and then we can just go ahead and create our server and that we can just create it just by calling this fast MCP and additionally you can see like we can pass certain things over here like name instructions and all those things so name i can just call it weather server and after that like we can just go ahead and define our method so this is going to give us a weather data for a given city i do have this sample code which is going to help me to retrieve that weather information so we are going to call this particular endpoint and we just have to pass this endpoint and city then this is going to give us a weather information for a specific city now we have defined our method this is just like any normal method what we have to do additionally is just to expose it as mcp tool we are just going to use this particular decorator and we are just going to call it mcp tool now we have defined a method and expose it as a tool on this particular mcp server last thing what we have to do is run this particular server so what we are going to do is just call this run method to run this particular server and then you could see at the last we can pass the transport mode in this case we are just going to run it on our locals we can just say stdio so there are two other transport mechanism also one is sse and another is streamable http in this case we are just going to run it on our locals so we are going to leverage st.io now this would enable this particular server now what we have to do is we have to call this custom mc server in our google adk agent so i'm just going to go to this agent.py i'm planning to run this particular agent as a normal python script without any default ui which comes if we run it using adk web so we have already covered in our last video how we can run our agent without the default ui provided by adk web so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy paste all this code and just directly put it in agent.py file and this is going to give me the sample code so let's see okay what kind of changes we have to do in this case everything else is going to be same we just have to add few additional code into this agent.py so that we can call our custom mcp server so for that we have to just import certain packages here under tools we have to call mcp tool and then we have to import mcp tool set and then because we have enabled our custom mcp server using stdio transport mode so i'm going to make a connection using stdio connection params so this is what i have to import now once it has been imported i have to go to this agent code and i have to define tool set i have to call this mcp tool set now this mcp tool set in this google adk framework is going to help us to call mcp servers so here you could see first thing what we have to pass is our connection params and this connection params could be of stdio server parameters stdio connection params or sec connection params or streamable http connection params there is also a tool filter list so suppose okay if you are calling some server 
software where we do have n number of tools available but we do have a clarity okay what kind of tools we have to leverage out of it so we can just focus on those particular tools just by passing it as a list under this tool filter in this case we know in our custom mcp server we do have only one tool exposed so we are not going to apply any filter as such so let's try to call our server so what we have to do is under mcp tool set we have to call this connection params so i am just going to call this connection params and under this connection params i need to call this stdio connection param because that's how our server has exposed and under this connection params you could see there are two parameters one is server params and then timeout timeout i would go with the default one server params is something that we have to define additionally i will go to this and i will call this server params and now under this server params we have to pass certain information if i click on this server params and if i click on this studio server parameters then you could see like what kind of things we can pass under this so one is going to be command arguments environment these are the details that we can pass it over here i am just going to do the same so first thing i am going to pass is command and we are going to run our custom server like this server.py file using python server.py so that's what we have to pass over here so first thing is going to be command and then we have to pass our arguments and arguments we have to pass it under a list so under this we are just going to call this server.py so this tool set has been defined using this we are calling this particular python file if you put like some other name to this particular file then you can just use it over here so it's a normal python script execution and we are just passing the command over here to trigger it okay and now how we can integrate it with our agent so under agent you could see there is something called tools and under this we are going to call this tool set which we have defined at the top along with the root agent we are also going to to export this tool set which is going to be here so our first part is completed now we would go to our second part where we are going to run the agent one modification what we are going to do over here like when we are going to run this get agent then it will also give us tool set now so i am just going to enable that as well and then using this tool set we can do some cleanup work so i can just say close mcp server connection even if you don't do it the mcp tool set would do that by default but if you want to do it then you can just do it like this tool set dot close and that's it this is how actually we have integrated our custom server with our agent in adk framework so let me just go ahead and try to ask some question and let's see like whether we are able to get a response or not i'm just going to ask how is the weather in in delhi do i need to bring out umbrella today as we are going to run it as a normal python script so i'm just going to navigate to our folder which is going to be mcp and then under this we have to go to custom mcp and i'm just going to call this python agent.py and this is the query which we are trying to run and you could see like we are able to get a response so it looks like there might be patchy rain today you may need an umbrella just in case just to get more specific detail what we can do is i can just remove it over here and i can specifically ask for the weather details so i'm just going to rerun it and this time i'm going to pass the query how's the weather in delhi this time you could see the details i have got the weather in delhi is hazy with the temperature of 31 degrees but it feels like 35 the wind is speed the visibility everything and all this is coming from this particular method you can also try to run this particular method as a standalone method and you could see the response what we get from here so the same information is being passed to our agent and then agent is coming up with this kind of a response in this case we are just getting a final response but if you just want to get more clarity like what kind of tools are being exposed from mcp server and what are the other details over here then you could do one thing you can just print or debug your event directly in this case like you can just add this additional line and then if i just go ahead and run this code then you could see the additional details what we are getting in this case here you could see the argument which has been passed to method there has been a function call the prompt token the use token all those counts you can also get it from here you could actually see the response which we have got from method so this is the weather report that we have got it from our custom mcp server method and came into this kind of format and at the last you could see the final response which we are getting it from our llm so that's how actually you can integrate custom mcp server with google adk framework and that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching